Hey, hi guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can move the square or rectangle or any box shape in uh, by using C++ graphic or C graphic. So it's very easy. So let's get started. Let me show you the output first. This is the square or box. I wanted to move this from left to right position or you can say from top to bottom, bottom to top or right to left, even diagonally. How we can do this? It's really easy. Let me just show you now. But before this, you must know how, how you make rectangle. If you don't know how you make rectangle, then it's just a waste video for you. So make sure you know how to make rectangle. If you don't know, you can check out my tutorials. Just go to my channel and go to the playlist and you can find out English version of playlist as well as Hindi version of Hindi version of playlist. So check out that. Now, after this, let's learn how we can move this rectangle. Go to paint. Let me just show you here. Uh, as I said first, you must know how you make these box or rectangles. And after this, our task is, I want you to move this box from left to right. In that case, what I can do, as I know, um, to make this uh, box, um, how we do it, we take a point from left side to the far lines, we, basically to the lines which we have created. For example, uh, here you can see, I have created this line and this line. To make this line, what I have done, I have uh, started from left side and to this position and whatever the number is, I just given this, suppose it's 100. Now, for to make this line, what I have done, I done the same thing. Uh, I, I was in left side and from left side, I picked a distance and stopped here and whatever the distance is from left to the, this point, I just write it down that number. Example, it's 300 and just write it down. And to make this top line and this bottom line, what I did, I took distance from the above, from this uh, point and whatever the distance is, I just write it down. And this is how I basically formed a rectangle or square or a box. Now, if I wanted to move this box from left to right, in that case, what I can do, uh, as I know, the top line and this bottom line will be in the same position. There will be no change, obviously. So what I wanted to change, I wanted to change this line position, basically, sorry, a position of this line and position of this line, I wanted to change. In that case, what I can do, this line and this line, I will just plus I on it. I will just increment the value of uh, left left line and right line. That's it I have to do to move this box from left to right. Let's just check out this thing here. Let's just implement this. Here you can see uh, the rectangle function, the parameters. The first parameter is for left. Obviously, I wanted to increment the left. Okay, I will increment this 150 and then the second parameter must be the right line here in right line is this 450 here you can see this third number one. So I wanted to increment left and right both. So let's just put this you know, rectangle function into the loop inside the loop. I will just uh, simply going to give this a for loop. And let's increment this and function. Let's put this function inside the loop, and that's all I have to do. And now let's increment 150 plus i in this right line plus i. That's it. The uh, compile and run. Let's see what we get as a result. It takes some time in my system. So here you can see we are getting the result. Let's just, you know, um, improve this one. I will just uh, add clear device here so we can see everything properly what's happening. Uh, now compile and run once again.
and there you can see it's moving now this is how you basically make this move if you wanted to move this rectangle from top to bottom in that case what do you do simply you just uh, need to increment these two lines this top one and this bottom one let's just do it uh, let me just show you instead of incrementing this right and left i will just increment this this one 150 and uh, 440 of bottom and compile and run let's see it must move from top to bottom now and there you go it's moving this is how you do it and for the diagonal uh, obviously you have to do uh, if you wanted this uh, from uh, top to the right bottom side in that case what you do you you increment this part which is uh, this left side and this top side and it will just push this to the downside let's just do it so i will increment 150i and this top also and left and top i am incrementing now to move this diagonally let's see it's happened or not and there we go it's happening uh, but in this case we have to make sure of other things too so make sure you are uh, writing this properly in this case what what happened basically it uh, it it gone too far like this side and this also gone too far and it formed a basically new rectangle like this like this design it, it formed uh, instead of this what 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 we have to do basically we have to move these uh, two also which means we have to increment these lines we have to increment these two so bottom is also going to be incremented as well as right also so plus now it must move diagonally let's see <laughs> and there you can see it's moving diagonally so this is how you do it thank you so much for watching the video please like share and subscribe if you still have any other question you can ask me in comment sections and uh, you can check out the website there is code given to you regarding all these these graphics thanks so much bye take care have fun if you still have a question you can ask me bye have you ever felt are you listening damn